inverted papilloma. Synonyms are transitional cell papilloma, Ringer's tumor, Schneiderian papilloma. It is a rare benign epithelial tumor of the nose and paranasal sinuses arising from the Schneiderian membrane, that is the known olfactory mucosa. Most common sites are the ethmoid region followed by lateral nasal wall, maxillary sinus and frontal sinus. It is a locally aggressive tumor with a tendency to recur and is associated with a malignancy rate of 10 to 15 percentage. Etiology. There is an association with human papilloma virus. Histologically, the epithelium grows inwards into the stroma with an intact basement membrane. That's why it is called an inverted papilloma. Coming to the symptoms, males are more commonly affected than females. The age group affected are 40 to 70 years. It's usually unilateral. There will be associated nasal obstruction, nasal discharge, hyponasal speech, facial swelling, hyposmia or anosmia, epistaxis, orbital symptoms like diplopia or proptosis. Signs. There will be unilateral pale polypoid growth or it can be reddish or granular. Diagnosis by diagnostic nasal endoscopy and you can take a biopsy. CT scan. Focal hyperostosis helps to identify the site of origin of the tumor and CT scan also helps to identify the extent of growth. MRI scan is used to distinguish mucus from papilloma. Differential diagnoses are androquinal polyp, squamous cell carcinoma, fungal sinusitis. Treatment. Endoscopic removal, medial maxillectomy by lateral rhinotomy or sublabial degloving approach. For frontal sinus tumors, osteoplastic flap operation, modified lethro procedure or frontal sinusotomy or draft type 2 approach is used. Follow up for a minimum of 3 years is needed because of the chance of recurrence. The recurrence rates are high due to the presence of viral DNA in the adjacent normal tissues and residual tumor. Thank you.